Hi everybody, it's Dr. Modi Charter back again for another who, another crazy week. Uh, we had an unusual situation. We had this massive heat wave in Israel. It was horrible also for us. But the question is what happens to a barn owl in a nesting inside of a box that's exposed to the direct sun during a heat wave? So first of all, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and let's see what happened to this barn owl pair. We're in Israel Ramon barn owl cam and there's a massive heat wave 41 degrees Celsius which is almost 106 degrees Fahrenheit. It's super hot. The barn owls are in the box which has direct sunlight on it. Uh, in that nestling, any of that was panning, That's uh, they don't sweat, they can only pan to keep pool. The female, in order to v avoid this heat wave, actually left the box in the middle of the day, flew out. The nestling obviously cannot fly, so it's stuck in the boss box, panting, trying to keep cool, do the best it can. And, and hopefully it'll be able to survive until the weather cools down in the afternoon or, uh, uh, or night. Uh, luckily... Um, luckily, uh, the nestling survived, the female returned, obviously she came back, the male provided prey and the nestling eats. Now the nestling and the female do not drink while they're in the box, the only way they get liquids is actually from the prey, from the fluids of the rodents. So this was, obviously this mouse was extremely needed after this extremely hot uh, heat wave. And, and the nestling survived. Now, if there's going to be a heat wave, the next couple days will be a problem because uh, the nestling may not be able to survive a heat wave more than one day. Luckily, the next day, it was only 28 degrees Celsius. The female left, probably assuming it was going to be another heat wave. But luckily, the weather decreased and there was not a heat wave for the second day. So the nestling survived again uh, uh, the second day and the, the adults continued to feed them. And uh, these things are very uh, um, nerve-wracking and very difficult to watch, but this is a reality also in nature. Heat waves, extreme heat waves are unusual. They do happen, but just like nat uh, natural disasters that happen to people that, that we don't always have all the solutions like wildfires or, or, or uh, earthquakes um, or different things like that that happen to humans, a lot of times humans die, unfortunately, obviously. Uh, because our houses weren't built correctly or floods or fires or something like that. So these extreme events also can happen to barn owls. Um, that said, even though it was a heat wave, the female left in, in the nestling uh, survived it, which they survived many of these things because uh, that's how these birds have um, evolved. So sometimes we have these things that people ask questions why can't you put air conditioners we did publish a scientific article we put data loggers temperature data loggers in nest boxes and we wanted to see what the temperature inside versus outside the box so the ambient temperature the outside temperature was the highest nest boxes on pole located in sun like the camera we just watched was the second highest and a pole that shaded a nest box in a pole that shaded was the lowest, and if it's a, a nest box on a tree, then it had the lowest temperature. Um, so you're talking about these huge, huge differences in in uh, in, in temperatures to the point that um, the nest box, just just like the nest box that we had in this camera, what was a, a 1.7 degrees lower than the outside temperature. So even though it said 41 degrees, the temperature inside the box should have been lower. And if it was a shade, it would even be even lower. So the nest boxes, they do have ventilation. Uh, you can't see it because it's under the roof, uh, um, uh, on the sides, right be below the roof. And these keep the nest boxes a lot cooler. So this is again, another harsh reality of nature. Sometimes you have these extreme events in weather. Sometimes it can actually kill uh, on nestlings, but luckily in this time, this was not the case. So, wow, we were really lucky that the barn owl nestling survived this heat wave. Hopefully there will not be another one. Uh, I added a link in the description if you want to read our scientific publication that we use the data loggers. I really hope you liked this video. Thank you for your timestamps here again. It's another uh, video that I was able to make because of you wrote in the timestamps what was going on at certain times. 
So in, in, uh, in the chat, so thank you so much for your participation, for the moderators that do such an amazing, amazing job. I keep on saying it, and I'll keep on, and I won't say it, I can't say it enough that without you, I would not be able to do this, all the moderators. So thank you very much. If you like this content and you're able to help, want to help and participate and can donate, I put a link in the description. We do definitely need your help to keep this channel going. So please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, keep on watching. Let's hope there won't be any harsh events this coming week. Who'd you later?